Hello YouTube, my name is Jeremiah Edwards and this is a Quamath Studios cosplay moment. Hello out there, my name is Jeremiah and I am here to talk to you today about cosplaying. Uh, I had the luxury this year of going to Tokyo and Tulsa. Uh, I had a wonderful time, got to meet a whole bunch of new friends and I dressed up and got to cosplay the one of my favorite characters from The Legend of Korra in the Avatar series called Tenzin. Uh, some of you may not recognize me today because I do not have a blue arrow on my head, my goatee is trimmed much smaller, and my glasses are on. Uh, needless to say, I did have a wonderful time. Uh, got to meet so many new people. Uh, I think there was moments in my life where I just stood and posed on end and it never seemed to end. Needless to say, uh, like I said, I've met a lot of wonderful people, uh, such as my new friend on a Wednesday, right there, and also my other new friend, Spencer Holmes. Uh, they were also dressed up as Legend of Korra characters. Uh, there were several of us. We started seeing each other from afar and was like, hey, you're from Legend of Korra, you're from the Avatar series, and we you know started talking to one another and all of a sudden, all of us wound up. There was uh, me on a Wednesday, Spencer Holmes. Uh, we also had a Uncle Iroh and a Zuku, and we actually had Korra herself, who was the photographer, and we all met inside the charity booth where they were taking all these pictures for charity for Baca. Baca. And we got together and we took some great avatar pictures and some friend pictures. And it was really neat to be able to connect with somebody that was interested in the exact same show that I was in. Uh, both me and my wife spent a lot of time and effort uh, cutting out and piecing together my cosplay outfit and uniform. Uh, which is right here, Whitney Sows. Uh, we had tons of fun uh, picking out fabric, and uh, it was nice getting to do stuff with my wife that she enjoys the sewing, and I enjoy uh, the costuming and coming up with a crazy character, and it was just really fun, so it was great to then see other people who had done the same thing that I had. Now, as a cosplayer, one of our most favorite things to do, or at least my favorite thing to do as a cosplayer, was to pose for pictures. Uh, there was lots of people who would just, just come up and be like, please let me get your picture. And of course you stand and you pose for them. Uh, as a cosplayer, that's kind of part of the gig, is getting to stand and pose. And you have to research your character and know what kind of poses they do, expressions they do, and then also do things that are like extremely opposite of what they did. Uh, but have fun with it. You know, you are that character for a day or over a weekend or a week, depending on which con you go to. So please enjoy it and take this time to take pictures with people and especially children. I love, love, love taking the pictures with kids because they would come up to me and be like, Mr. Tinsman, can I please have a picture with you? I, I, I like your character. And so, you know, you, you have this kid and they're cute and they want to take a picture with you. Here's a tip. Get down on one knee. Get on their level. They want to be seen next to you. Uh, I have a picture right here. Oh, one of my favorite ones. Uh, so please, take time. Pose with people. It's great. Now, back to cosplaying. Bing! Uh, just mentioning that I really did... Uh, love getting to talk to people, uh, getting to spend some time to get to know them, to swap stories and ideas of how to make armor and how did, how did you sew this and I can't believe that some people like on a Wednesday uh, she actually hand dyed all of the material, did all the leather work stamping and did all of this totally by herself. So for those of you out there that are wanting to cosplay that you thought it's kind of silly or you thought I'm not this professional, perfection artist who's, who can sew anything in the world. Start with something simple. Uh, I was at a panel where they just, they talked about, you know, if you're going to do cosplaying or you're going to do some steampunk cosplaying, start off with buying a set of goggles. 
Start with something small and build and build and build and build and build and build till you get to your level of, you know, I like this, this is comfortable with me, this is something I can afford, this is something I can do, and do it with something that you love. Like I said, I've done a little bit of just dress up in steampunk in the past. Uh, me and my wife have also done some Renaissance Fair outfits, but for some reason when I started cosplaying, I got into it. It was like getting back on stage and becoming a character for a day. And it was fun and it was exciting. And uh, like I said, I got to meet so many new people. So for those of you out there who are just starting, if you have to, start small. If you need to go bigger, some people can sit down and just sew up a storm that have never sewed a day in their lives. If you need help, again, I'm going to do a selfless plug here for my wife, Whitney Sews. Watch some of her tutorials. Uh, see how we got the ideas of creating Tenzin's outfit from different patterns. If you need help, reach out to the community. We're all here. We're here to help. We're here to learn. And we all care for you. So know that you do matter. You do care. And we're watching out for you. So next year for Tokyo and Tulsa, I've got, already got my character in mind. Uh, all my Facebook friends out there, you can't tell going to be. Let the people here guess because I put some hints, clues, and suggestions all around me. Um, some things that I did bring back from the con that I really am happy about. I do love my pins, my little character pins. You know, I have Uncle Iroh here, who is, uh, I thought, which was a great uh, mentor uh, for several of us who are watching the show as uh, how strong we need to be as human beings, and also my character that I got to play, Tenzin. Ding. Uh, I also brought back some really neat posters that I saw. Uh, I walked up to this booth that had posters all around it, and I stood there and I said, guess which poster I want. And they all pointed to this one, this lovely fire ferret poster for airbending championships. I thought it was really cool and neat that it had all the characters and that uh, from the fire ferrets, and also, there was a girl who was selling some of her art, which she signed for me. Ooh, there you are. You have your signature right down in there. Uh, these I'm going to work on getting framed. Uh, probably put them up in my wall in here. You might see them behind me at some point in other videos. Uh, I do not know how often I will be doing videos, uh, whether it be weekly, monthly, or whenever I feel like it. Because that's how I am. So. Um, we'll leave you with this, that the I will be coming up with tips, clues, hints, and suggestions on things to do as a cosplayer. Yes, I am novice and I'm starting off, but I do have a wife who has great tips that she gives me as to what people should and shouldn't do, and I also have a friend that speaks his mind, and I listen. You know who you are. And uh, for that, I will be saying some truths that may offend people but I will bring it to you in a great perspective so if you are enjoying this video and like to see more please subscribe at the bottom of the wonderful screen and I will talk to you people and YouTube land later thanks bye